another day, another opportunity for Lamar Jackson to show how he got Ravens fans in a chokehold. Team, keep it clean. What's up, baby? Hey, I hope y'all doing good. I, I really appreciate all of y'all, man. I really do. Now, one thing about Team Keep It Clean that I love about y'all, if I miss anything, if there's ever anything that I do not know about, did not hear about, y'all will let me know quick, fast, and in a hurry. And plenty of y'all will let me know. That's exactly what happened with Lamar Jackson in the story today. So many people sent me the DMs of his story. Like, hey, Engrave, you got to look at Lamar Jackson's story. Hey, check out Lamar's story. Hey, oh, man, Lamar about to leave us. Oh, Lamar, he getting traded now. Oh, Lamar ain't going to be a Raven no more now. And I looked at it, and I'm like... I mean, like, okay, like, uh, I mean, I, I know, I get it, I get it, like, Lamar, he got a lot of Ravens fans tripping out, man, every single thing he posts, every single movie he makes, we all watching and waiting, um, and I think a lot of it is really for selfish reasons, too, because we want to know what's going on with him and the Baltimore Ravens, because he's our favorite quarterback, he plays for our favorite football team, and we are very invested in what's going to happen next, and we've just been left in the dark. We, we've heard they having negotiations and contract talks or whatnot. We've heard they offered him good money and whatnot. We've heard that they obviously haven't come to a, a contract extension yet because we ain't heard nothing. But we, we've heard rumors and stories and reports and this and that, but we just don't know what's going to happen. And really, in my opinion... To, to save, if, if you find yourself really like stressing out over this, I, I would hope not. But I, if you are, it's okay. I get it. But if you find yourself stressing out over this, just say to yourself, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going to happen. But hey, I, I don't know. So I just got to wait it out. Because that's the truth. We don't know. His latest story. No matter how much genuine love you show, it'll never be enough. So forget it. And that had a lot of people going in a frenzy. Because a lot of people feel like that was directed at the Baltimore Ravens. Now, it could be directed at a friend. It could be directed at family. It could be directed at an associate or a former partner. What It could be directed at anybody. But, you know, like, since, again, we're very invested as fans of the Baltimore Ravens. And there's been so much talk about this contract because there is no contract yet. And there's a lot of questions surrounding this contract. A lot of people are going to assume that that's about the contract. And I can see why. I can see why. But, again, we just, we really don't know. We really don't know. And when you say that out loud to yourself, that can sort of give you a, whew, okay, cool. Yeah, I, I don't know what's going down, so let me just keep it moving. Now, my guy Diego, he, he had a really good plan. He says, I'm about to unfollow Lamar for my own good until he signs with us or gets traded somewhere else. I love Lamar, but I can't take the cryptic stuff no more. So, I get it. Like, unfollow him. You know what? Hey, Lamar ain't trying to get your followers down. Just mute them. Mute them temporarily. Mute them until, I would say, uh, mid-July. After that, then, uh, then we, we, we can see what's going to happen after that. Um, because mid-July is the deadline when the Ravens can come up with a contract extension with them if they place them on the franchise. So we'll see. But for your own sanity, mute them. So you ain't got to see no stories. You ain't got to see no posts. You ain't like that. I think he posted something either today or yesterday where he had the Ravens chain on. One of my guys said, Hey, look, he got the chain on. He's staying, buddy. Said, ah, okay, hey, cool. Right, we'll see. We'll see. But again, it, it's just like if, if you let it, if you really let this drive you crazy, it will. It will. Because one video, one story he got the chain on, one story he got the suitcase on, one story he's saying, oh, you show people genuine love. And don't let it drive you crazy. Well, I mean, I, I can't tell you not to let it drive you crazy. No, we, we just want to see what happens with Lamar. That's it. We just want to see what happens with Lamar. And until we know, we ain't going to know. So that's how I look at it. So I'm chilling. Um, I'm hoping for the best. Uh, really expecting the worst, but we're gonna see. We're gonna see. I would love. I keep saying it, man. I, I would love to 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 come back here one day at this old Raven sign Lamar Jackson to a four year, five year deal, six year, whatever. I would love to come back here one day and be like, man, I was wrong. I was wrong. I thought these Ravens were gonna end up trading Lamar Jackson. I did not think they were gonna invest in Lamar Jackson financially or with the the, the coaches that would. I just I did not see it happening. But they didn't. I would love to come back on here and say, hey, I was wrong. 
Because y'all know I, I gladly tell you when I'm wrong Because we be wrong a lot But We'll see We won't know till we know So until that time Until we do find out Until we actually do know We out